Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 2 on NES. Last time we have cleared all eight stages, so now it's now it's time to take on Dr. Wily him, himself. And in order to do that, we as always need to enter a password. It's not too bad. This should be the correct order. And in indeed the verification pops up and it shows that we've collected everything. And there's Dr. Wily flying around in his UFO raising his eyebrows like that, because that's just what evil scientists do. And after that little posing, he slowly descends to his castle. Little evil music and some sort of map screen. And then the stage automatically starts. And this music that you hear right now is not only considered to be um, the best um, track in the game by many people, but in fact most people say that this right here is the single best song on the NES, on the entire fucking system. Like, to a lot, according to a lot of people, this is the single best 8-bit theme. And um, while I really do not agree to that, um, that's just that's just the general opinion. Most for most of the people. Um, we got item number one last time. It's it's an item that gives you a vertical lift, but I don't remember how exactly it, it looks like. Let's actually just test it out. Yeah, that's it. Gives you a vertical lift like that. It's it's a bit more useful than item number three. And um, let us switch back to our standard weapon. There are those worm generating things again, but we can't hit them with the standard weapon here, so let's switch to bubble lead which slides along the ground and enables us to hit the generators on the floor. We also get an energy and some um, ammunition drops right here. Um, in, an or in order to scale this wall let's use item number three instead. I don't want to waste item number one on this. Switch back to bubble lead and defeat those guys. And um, now back to item number three and as you can see we are back to two extra lives and no energy tanks because the passwords don't save that. And as always we can't reopen the inventory until all item number three platforms disappear. The same thing would hold for item number two and item number one platforms I guess. And now let's actually refill item number three with this ammo here and item number one and grab an extra life and fall down because we missed this tight little jump where the ceiling is right above Mega Man. Doesn't matter, we can climb back up by using uh, the item number three and that's why there are so many worm generators I think. It's because um, they are there so that you can defeat them and then hopefully um, refill your ammunition because you, you need item number three or item number one ammo in this stage because otherwise you ca cannot um, ascend vertically. Let us attack this Sniper Joe with the quick boomerang. Yeah, we killed him in like two or three shots. I do think that the, the boomerang is stronger than the Mega Buster. Now let's climb up. And now we're at this part and I accidentally jumped slightly to the left too far. This room is a bit tricky. Because you can't just use item number one and then use item number two. Once you use item number one, you cannot, as I've already um, explained before, you cannot, you cannot um, go back to your inventory screen any anymore unless all item number one platforms disappear. So you really can only use one of those um, items at a time. And I think I'm going to use item number one and I will try to use it like this. Use it three times like that and quickly jump and there we go. And we climb up this ladder while while the spinning faces do attack us, but they're not really doing a good job at attacking us. Um, regarding the music in this stage, um, yeah, I, I really don't think it's the best music um, on the entire system because I don't even think it's the best music in the game. I think Metal Man's music for example sounds better or bubble man's music you know the stage music i of course mean now this 
the screen is scrolling and a dragon is following us. If he touches you, it's instant death. And um, I've seen this guy um, in... Uh, in I Wanna Be The Guy for the first time in my life. You know, that famous game by Kayan, which um, is all based on unfair deaths. And that's a really, really easy boss fight. We just killed him with a few Mega Buster shots to the face. Um, but yeah, I, I encountered this guy in I Wanna Be The Guy for the first time and I was I was really surprised to see him in Mega Man 2, actually. Like, I didn't know that it was Mega Man 2 where, where the guy came from. The, um, the dragon, I mean. We were back to the map screen there. We are advancing further to the right. Um, the stages apparently are marked by little yellow dots and Dr. Wily's hideout is marked by the skull. There's those spring guys falling from the sky here, we can defeat them and gain some ammunition. There's a huge spike pit here. Spikes are instant death, so let's use item number two. Whoa, that guy almost got us. Holy shit, he can jump far. Yeah, just riding the platform, jumping up here then. Ah, shit, we could have... We could have been riding the platform a bit further then, grabbed an energy tank. That would have been really useful, actually. How many lives do we have? Three. Hey, let's let's kill let's kill ourselves here. I, I really want that energy tank. Yeah, that, that's that's stupid. You can't know beforehand that there is an energy tank there and that you shouldn't jump up right away. Yeah, let's like let us slightly refill our ammo by killing those those respawning enemies. That's what they're here for. They are really here so that you can um, get ammo, because you must use item number two to cross the spike pit, and you need ammo for that, so that's why those those infinitely respawning enemies are here. Let's use item number two again, and let us ride it a little bit longer this time. There we go, and that gives us an energy tank. Yep, now we have one, that's exactly what we needed. And we are now here on the left, on the left side where you also get an extra life that makes up for the life that I used to purposely kill myself in order to respawn and um, we also get our ammunition back. So um, yeah, this is obviously the advantageous path to choose. Here we do er now also not need to defeat those enemies and we can use crash bombs to get another extra life and another energy tank. So holy shit! This path is so much more useful to take. <laughs> Dying on purpose was to totally worth it. Okay, so now you need to be, be a bit careful. Here there should be some moles. Yep. Again, I have no idea why those enemies here are called moles. Again, they look like spinning screws to me. And then... Um, they're moving through the walls, for whatever reason. You can also use these guys to refill health and ammo, I guess. Let us, uh, let us do that. Let's get item number two, because item number two is the best one. The most useful one, I mean. Because it, it makes platforming really a whole lot easier if you just, just ride, ride item number two. Okay, and then we refilled item number one as well. There's those little smashing things with the spikes from um, from Metal Man stage. We will use. Uh, we will not use item number three to get up here. Let's try this again. There we go. Oh shit! Uh, these things really do a hell of a lot of damage. We are almost out of ammo for item number three. Oh, this is difficult to do without getting hit. Okay, we are almost dead. It's not good. Let us see where we can go from here. I believe, if I recall correctly, there are... Yeah, there, there's there's a huge item... Um, a huge health sphere, sphere here. Let us use item number two to get that one. And then we should be at the boss, if I recall correctly. Yep. Boss fight. And it's those, those, it's the walls. The walls become alive and attack us. 
isn't that unique. And I always use Quick Boomerang to attack those guys. I believe it's a bit stronger than the Mega Buster. And this this part is a bit unfair because you look now, um, now they are coming from below. So if you are standing on the floor and um, they move right under your ass, then you you get hit if you just stand on the platform which happens to come out of the wall. Like like pretty much like just ha like it just happened here, and that that's a bit stupid. So you have to you kind of have to memorize um, this part a little bit, which which is stupid, I think. But yeah can't help it. Also, those guys do a lot of damage, as you can see. Let me quickly go through this to get an extra life. Yep. Taking damage on purpose to quickly reach the extra life before it disappears. So yeah, I think this boss kind of sucks a little bit, but um, we can't help that, I guess. Let's refill item number three, because we will use it again to climb the right side, and let us take damage on purpose and go through the moles a little bit more quickly. Okay, there we go. A lot of huge, huge energy refills because we're playing on normal mode. Ah, for fuck's sake. Yeah, now we're taking damage here again. I really don't know how to get past that one smasher without taking damage. This part's also really difficult. You have to perfectly stand in the middle between those two. And I mean perfectly. But we successfully did it this time. Let's already switch back to item number two. We will use it to get that huge energy refill, which is down here. Let's fall to the left. Oh, except it's not here anymore. Yeah, I, for I totally forgot about that. Item healing items don't respawn after you die. Let's switch back to the quick boomerang again. I guess this is a part where it would be really uh, useful to use the metal blade in order to shoot upwards to um, quickly defeat those guys before they even get a chance to attack you by just shooting up. But yeah, as I said, I haven't used the metal blade on my first playthrough and I'm not going to use it here either. It is severely overpowered. Okay, so now we're almost dead. We got hit twice so far, but we almost died. So this is a boss where I use an energy tank. Um, where's the quick boomerang? There it is. Jesus. Yeah, they move quite fast at the end. And that's a lot of enemies here. But we managed to pull through it. This is a fairly difficult boss, I think, just because those moving wall parts do so much damage. So that's the second Wily stage cleared. There's this evil castle theme again. I think it sounds really nice. And now it's on to the third Wily stage, which, if memory serves, is the shittiest Wily stage. But I don't remember this part right here at all. This um, vertical drop, and um, I totally soared right past that energy tank. That was excruciatingly stupid from me right there. Let's refill item number three. Yep, there we go. Let's kill this guy, because in Bubble Man he dropped... Yep, in Bubble Man every single one of those guys has dropped a huge ammo refill and it apparently continues to do to do so here. They continue to just drop huge item refills and there's this underwater part here. I don't... I don't... Well, I do remember this now that I encountered this part, but I wouldn't have, have thought about this anymore. Like, um... Just 15 seconds ago, I didn't remember an, o an underwater part and this huge giant fish which jumps up and down. That's also new to me. Again, now I do remember it now that I see it, but before I would never thought about this. Yeah, let's let's try not to jump here. That would be deadly. Again, if you remember correctly, those spike balls are instant death. Ooh, you fall down quite quickly. Gotta react semi-fast here. And, um... This is apparently not the shitty part that I was thinking about. It's the next the next Wily stage that sucks. This one's really easy so far. It's those enemies. Those little shooting dudes. Yeah, that's a very accurate description. It's not like most enemies are shooting, right? 
get the boss already, what the hell? Oh, it's this little tank thing. Okay, I remember that now. Ah, yes, you need to jump on him and shoot the face. I think it took me some time to figure that out the first time I was playing. I was like, where on earth is the weak spot? He's, he's shooting... I think we won already. He was shooting those enemies with the hats. You know, those enemies that fire three bullets at once. Um, holy shit, this part was easy. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit at a loss of words right here. Couldn't even explain the boss. Um, <laughs> we just, like, instantly defeated him. Yeah, this is the shitty part of, of, of Wily's complex. And I will explain to you why once we get to the shitty parts. Let us refill Crash... Crashman's weapon. That's actually essential. I absolutely do remember that. The boss in this stage sucks. That's why I remember to, to, to collect um, Crashman's weapon. If you've played the game before, then you do know what I'm talking about. That enemy that we just defeated, um, that's what the, the... That's the type of enemies that the previous boss was shooting. How many lives do we have? Four. Yeah, we, we've been gaining quite a lot of lives here in the Wily stage so far. And this, this is the reason why this Wily stage sucks so fucking much. It's because of those, those plat, of those, um, of those, um, transparent walls, so to speak, you know? Those walls which you just fall through. I don't know the correct word for that. Like, um, th those non-solid walls, basically. I, I really don't, don't know the English word to, to explain that, I'm, I'm sorry. But you know what I mean, you just fall through those platforms and that's just fucking garbage. Like here. And, um, and here. God. <laughs> what the hell. Gotta memorize where you are falling through. Okay, so we gotta jump here and then we need to jump here, I think. Yep. And so far, this is all nice, but up there, there will be a hole where you will fall into the spikes. And the thing is, there is no way to know where the hole is. Like, the only way for me to to guarantee survival right now is to use item number two, to ride to the left. Because if I just walk to the left or jump randomly around, then this will happen. Yep! Absolute pile of horseshit in my opinion. Yeah, this is the reason why I hate this fucking stage. It's really, really mean-spirited. This music right now is, is also more tense, and it indicates that we are progressing more towards the actual final Wily stage, rather than the first Wily stage, which, which had this very, very energetic music. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think that the, the first YD stage music is bad. I mean, I think it's great too, but I do think it's a bit overrated. As I've said, um, it's, it's wide, widely regarded as the best NES music, and that's just, that is just wrong in my opinion. There's an energy tank to the right, but there will be a hole somewhere. Right here. Let's kill this guy here. He got hit, but um, I'll, I'll take it. Um, let us use item number one. Yep, and then we get that energy tank, which is nice. And now let's keep on going to the right, in this little empty hallway right here. Wow, what the hell was the point of this room? Just to go to the right and then drop down a bit. Okay, so now there's this part with a moving platform. We've s seen those types of mo moving platforms in Crash Man stage. They are moving along those white lines here, those like um, metal lines basically. That extra life dropped right into the spikes there, that's a bit unfortunate. You don't need to fully ride that platform, as you can see, I just jumped to the left early. And there's this part. Uh, I think you need to jump here. Yeah, if you just ride the platform to the right there, then, then you will drop down, because you will hit the wall here to the left, and then you'll, then you'll fall into the spikes and die. So you need to be careful how you're doing this. Uh, then there's this part. So it's also a bit annoying. Okay. Um, the easiest part, easiest way to do this part would be to just use the leaf shield 
to protect yourself from the spinning guys but I'm not going to do that because I've seen that strategy strategy in another video and I don't want to copy um, other strategies so I'm, I'm invincible right now because the enemy hit me but my invincibility will disappear any moment and then, then the spike will kill me so let me quickly try to use item number one to get up back up to the platform yeah, that didn't work anymore. That was too late. Uh, this part sucks. also sucks a little bit. Um, those spinning guys can easily knock you down into the spikes. But I will be better prepared for that next time. Let me switch uh, back to the buster. We already were back to the buster after we died, but um, yeah. <laughs> but let me switch anyway. Okay. So yeah, again here, you don't need to further ride the platform. You can just jump to the left from here, and then that's it. Um, no, I don't want to climb back up. Thank you. I was just trying to hang on to the ladder. Then you drop down here. And then again, we need to jump to the left now, otherwise we are going to die. And um, then we ride this up here. And um, now we have to wait. Again, this, this already sucks a little bit in terms of timing, because the spinning phase is approaching us from below, but we can't drop to the platform yet. So that one was a bit tough to avoid without taking damage. Let me quickly switch switch to item number one. And oh, we actually successfully dodged the guy here, and then we got hit and knocked onto the platform, which is good. It's good as long as you don't get knocked into the spikes. I don't mind taking damage otherwise. So that's taken care of that part. This part here should be really easy. Um, I do believe that, that um, you would get knocked down if, if, if you would have continued to ride the platform here. Um, I, you would hit the ceiling above, above your head here, I think. So I think it was a good idea not to ride the platform. Let, let me safely use um, item number two here. <laughs> It's cheap, I know, but I don't care. Ah, Sniper Joe riding his little huge robot leg thing here. Haven't encountered these guys in quite a while. Let's take care of him and then switch back to the quick boomerang because the quick boomerang works really, really well on S Sniper Joe. We can refill a weapon here. Let's refill item number two. And I think we're close to the boss. Is that guy jumping toward us? We must quickly, quickly defeat him. There we go. Uh, quick boomerang, where are you? There you are. There we go. And a nice little huge energy drop. And pause the game here because I wanted to switch weapons, but not anymore. There was a final sniper Joe, and then there's the boss. This is also a shitty boss. Look at this. There's a bunch of crash man walls. And, um... There are those, those five blue spheres, they blink and then they shoot homing bullets at you. Which, as far as I know, are impossible to dodge. But thankfully, they don't deal that much damage. It's all about conserving Crashman ammo here. Like, we could destroy this wall to the right here, but if we do so, then we don't have enough ammo to clear the battle. This is a very mean-spirited and shitty boss fight. Let's use item number one instead to get up here. I tried to use item number one. Yeah, to get to the right side here without using the crash bomb. And now, we use a crash bomb to destroy this wall. And then... Oh, you knocked us back up. Back down. This is bullshit. We will most certainly use energy tanks here. Okay, and now, let me demonstrate something. We use the Mega Buster, we fire, and it bounces off those things. You cannot only you cannot defeat those guys with any weapon other than the crash bomb. So that's that's why this boss fight is a bit weird. You barely have enough ammo to defeat th this boss if you go in with a full crash bomb ammo set. Or a full crash crash bomb ammo bar, rather. Let's say it like that. It's a, it's a, it's an ammo bar. Let's let's demonstrate it. Boom. With Crashman's weapon, you can indeed defeat those guys, and only with Crashman's weapon. Let's defeat this guy. Quickly disappear bomb so I can pa pause the game. Thank you. You cannot 
um, open your inventory be on before the crash bomb has exploded. Let's quickly use an energy, energy tank now. As you can see, the Mega Buster thing here isn't really a, an ammo bar for the Mega Buster, it's, it's actually the health bar. Okay, let's escape by using item number 3. Because when you're close to a wall, it's better to use item number 3, because when you're close to a wall, then it won't be a disadvantage that the uh, item number 3 is jumping around so weirdly. We also dodged those shots there, that was very nice. And as you can see, we are almost out of crash, crash bomb ammo. Like, I've not been kidding, the ammo is incredibly fucking tight. Um, hmm. Okay, we dodged that shot. Uh, let us try to climb up all the way with item number one. Um, yeah, this, this isn't working. Is it working if I jump a little bit before activating the weapon? Yeah, then it won't disappear that soon. And now, we can use another crash bomb shot. And we were out of ammo! Do you see that? That was perfect management. And I didn't des destroy those three little walls there. And if I would have de destroyed a single one of them, then I couldn't have defeated the boss. Because we would have been out of crash bomb ammo. I mean, what the hell? Is this the final stage now? We are marking our path to the skull. 